What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another early Series 7 team testing showdown live. Today, as you can tell by my little showdown background, we're going to be testing out the Zerka Tree team I theory crafted. Now, if you guys are enjoying these uh, team testing Series 7 early preview stuff, uh, go ahead and leave a like on the video, I really appreciate it. The support in the channel has been phenomenal. Let's try to shoot for 200 likes today and go ahead and comment down below. Remember, every comment helps me grow the channel, helps me get into that algorithm. Comment down below if you could stop one Pokemon from getting into the Crown Tundra DLC, if you could just stop it from getting into the game, what would it be? For me personally, I would actually say Tornadus. Tornadus is just going to be really annoying to see. Um, personally, I just think it's because it's such a powerful Tailwind setter. Speaking of Tailwind, that's pretty much the strategy we're going with today. Let me go ahead and uh, cover the team. So, Landorus Therian. Also, subscribe to the channel. Only like, I, I found this out the other day. I know a lot of YouTubers say it, but I actually checked my analytics to see if I was allowed to say it. Like only 30% of my views are from subscribed people. Subscribe, if, if, you're, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. You're already coming back, so. All right, so this Landris actually, we have a white herb on it because it's a really janky Landris. Um, I'm running a offensive sword stance Landris with white herb to prevent intimidate. Uh, so on the lead, I'm still powerful, but I think I actually might switch that out right now uh, because that just doesn't seem fun. I, I just don't like that. I, I, I was testing this earlier and it just didn't seem to be the uh, the play at all. So actually maybe I should run fly. Yeah, we'll run fly. So uh, this Landers is, yeah, I'll just give you a life orb. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I should run on that thing. Um, originally it was like Swords Dance Landers, but it's a different Landers now because uh, we're mostly relying on circuitry to win. So this is life orb Landers, U-turn, fly, superpower, earthquake, very powerful Pokemon, decent Dynamax target. Uh, intimidates things to help other Pokemon survive. We have Choice Band, Sandbrush, Dracovish, the monster, disgusting under sand, gets activated by Tyranitar. Um, slightly better damage output than regular Dracovish, uh, the, you know, Choice Scarf, other ones. Uh, we have a max HP, max special attack, four special defense, Tapu Fini, with Moonblast, Muddy Water Protect, Icy Wind, and Telepathy rather than Misty Surge because of a little strategy we're going with here. Uh, we have Weakness Palsy Tyranitar with enough speed for Tapu Koko at plus two, which is Tailwind. And we have, um, I should probably increase that to 107 for Dragapult. Yeah, okay. <laughs> with enough speed for Dragapult. Um, sorry, Old Habits Die Hard. That's how you would have ran it in like 2018. Um, we have Air Balloon, Zerka Tree, Tail Glow, Discharge, Protect, Dazzling Gleam with a modest nature, enough speed for Dragapult uh, at plus two and just the rest thrown into HP. I could make it bulkier, but I don't know how I would run this thing. Um, so yeah, and we have Whimsicott, which is gonna be our best friend here. Tailwind is actually faster than Tornadus' Tailwind, which means that um, we can get it off and then you know attack the other side of the field pretty quickly. Um, and it helps out with Zerka Tree because the Tail Glow, I can Tail Glow turn one as well as Tailwind and then just start sweeping things with Discharge. Tapu Fini can switch in next to Zerka Tree uh, or even just Icy Wind while Zerka Tree Tail Glows and then I can spam Discharge and Muddy Water. Landers Therian is another good partner for the Zerka Tree because I only have Discharge as my electric move. Um, that will allow me to, you know, be immune with my partner. So yeah, it, it's going to be a really fun time. Fake Tears is really cool because it helps me um, pick up KOs even if I'm at like plus four certain things won't die because discharge is a spread move so i could just click prankster fake tears onto it and try to get that off so yeah let's go to get into it I, I haven't tested this team at all yet um i'm hoping that it'll be decent i, I i'm not sure how well it's gonna perform but i don't know Th this might be a complete garbage team but this is this like preview of the series this preview of series seven it's, it's meant to be you know team testing and just throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks might take a minute to get to a game, so I may pause it, I may not. I'm not really certain how I can fill the gap between games besides rambling on and on like that. Oh, look, there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, okay, so this actually looks like a really solid game for just the Zerka Tree lead, uh, because my, my Air Balloon, the fastest thing on their side of the field is the Raikou, followed by the Garchomp. So unless they lead off Raikou and double into my Zerka Tree, they actually can't pop my Air Balloon and then KO me. So I'll go uh, Zerka Tree Whimsicott, and I think in the back here, Lander seems like a really solid idea. However, I'm probably gonna get a lot further with Dracovish and Tyranitar, possibly Tapu Fini. Actually, no, Tapu Fini looks phenomenal. It hits like everything here. Um, and I think my last Pokemon, I could go Landers. Landers doesn't seem like a bad option. We'll do that. Okay, 
So I think it's pretty clear that they're just going to follow me and um, go for like a dragon dance. So I will take this opportunity to actually, I'll tailwind up. Yeah, we'll tailwind up here and go for our, our move. As they don't follow me, interesting. They dragon dance, makes sense. Air slash, try to pick up the KO there. And what I can do here is actually, I'm assuming their inner focus, if they're multi-scale, I'd be concerned. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Dazzling Gleam as well as a Moonblast into the Dragonite because that should KO from this range. Uh, unless they follow me, that's fine. It's gonna be doing a lot of damage. Oh, they were they were not multi-scale. They were not multi-scale, and now we're gonna run with this game. I don't think they have a way out of this. My Dazzling Gleam is doing way too much. Let me Dazzling Gleam up. Um, it's pretty much futile for them to wanna to redirect here. It wouldn't do anything. So just to ensure I get this KO, uh, I'll go ahead and I will also fake tears into the Garchomp in case they decide not to redirect because that will just ensure I KO. <laughs> ah, this is such a disgusting Pokemon. I think even if they Dynamax, I might KO. I think, unless they're like Focus Sash, like, I think that's the only exception. They Dynamax, as they follow me, that's fine. Oh, that does such nasty damage. We get our Beast Boost and we're pretty bulky. He has Max Ooze. Do you not have a dragon move? Okay. Um, this is fine. This is fine. Nothing takes this hit. Dazzling Gleam will just one-shot the Garchomp. I can fake tears into Raikou. That's game. GG. Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast. Alright, I guess we'll just let we'll just let Zergatry get it. We'll max Starfall and we'll tailwind. Plus four Zergatry. This thing's gonna be so nasty in the format. Oh my god. Just the dynamic speed tiers makes it so much better. Let's go ahead and grab our next game while we wait. Because it does take a minute to uh, to get a game on this ladder. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, no, that was, that was a pretty decent first game. I mean, granted, I, I am fresh on this account. I actually haven't played it on the Moxie Boosted VGC account on this ladder yet. Oh, by the way, I know a lot of you guys are going to comment, how are you playing this format? Here's what you do. You, here's the link. I'm going to type it out. So in your web browser, you type sports.psim.us. And that's the website. You can see it in the bottom right corner. And then you just click National Dex DLC VGC. That's it. That's how you do it. A lot of people were asking in the previous video. That's, that's literally all you have to do. All right. So here, um, I actually, I don't think I want to lead off with, uh, I mean, actually, what did they have to stop that? I could actually lead off Zerkatry Landris. Get in the Whimsicott after U-turning. I could actually run Scarf Landris, to be honest. I might do that. Uh, and I think my last Pokemon is going to have to be Tapu Fini to help me catch these um, Grassy Glides a little bit easier on the Zerkatry. And the reason I'm leading off Landris here is because I need to be really cautious with... Um... Ooh, what if they're Trick Room? Okay, it doesn't look like they're going Trick Room. So, I mean, unless... Does Sableye get Fake Tears? Unless they get Fake Tears, I'm not really too concerned. It does not. Alright. So, I'm going to Tail Glow here. And... Get in the Whimsicott. Ooh. Ooh, this is a good turn for me. This was a very good turn for me. Okay, so... Oh my god, this is so good. I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam, uh, because that'll one-shot the Sableye, and Landorus actually can't hit Zerkatry because of the Air Balloon. He would have to go for a priority move like Shadow Sneak, which these things don't typically carry. I don't even know if it gets it, to be honest, but I don't think it will. So I'll Tailwind up. And I'm about to take lives. I'm about to take lives at this thing. There's the quash. That's fine. As long as I don't flinch. Yep. Okay. I don't think that'll save you. Ooh, it just barely saves you. Okay. All right. Well, on the bright side, um, I can ensure Landris goes down here by Dazzling Gleaming as well as Moonblast. He can't prevent that because he would have to quash both of these Pokemon, which is not an option. God, Zerkatry Whimsicott's going to be so gross. 
I just want a one shot a <laughs> I want a one shot at Gigantamax Lapras when it comes in. Oh, we're getting plus four. Thank you. Wait, did I not get the other KO? I thought. Oh wait, I, I that was that was plus two right there. Okay, check out this play. Check out this play. We're gonna Dynamax, right? We're gonna Max Lightning the Lapras. Or actually, no. There's no reason to Max Lightning the Lapras, cause. There's, there's no reason. So I'll max Starfall the Tapu Bulu for the KO, and I'll also switch in the Tapu Finny. So I will always go first, because he's... I don't think he's going to Dynamax Lapras. I could have actually Discharged, and it probably would have done similar damage. Or I meant I don't think he's going to attack. He should protect, yeah. Oh, I forgot. I'm not I'm not the right ability. I'm stupid, but we still live. GG. I'm stupid. We're not the right ability, because I'm running Telepathy. I have to... I have to Remember that. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so used to not having that. And we, we should one-shot it here. Yeah. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. One-shotting Gigantamax Lapras. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying this team so far. It's been a fun time. Ooh. Oh. Well, guys, I just want to let you know. This is a bug on the server. Um, there, For some reason, they allow you one legendary Pokemon. Like, you know, box legendary. That's not actually what the format is supposed to be. So if you see these, just, you know, keep in mind, this is not actually a legal team. But I guess we'll play this one just for fun anyways. In fact, I might just mess them up. Um, let me do this. We'll lead off Zerkatry again. We'll lead off Zerkatry. And Landorus. Whimsicott in the back. And I think my last Pokemon, he does have a Tyranitar. So I could take advantage of his own sand, so I'll bring my Dracovish. Okay. If I were them, I would 100% be going for a Geomancy right now. So I think I'll just Discharge and Max Airstream into the Xerneas. And there isn't much they can do about that. Like Dazzling Gleam, two Dazzling Gleams will hurt. I might even lose my Zerkatry, but... Lander should survive. There's the Rising Voltage. And now I'm going to outspeed the Xerneas and just take it out with uh, Discharge. We're going to get plus one here. Ooh. Oh, this is kind of nasty, dude. There's the Zerkatry. Um, I don't care. I, I don't believe I care. In fact, I could one-shot that thing right now. Let me uh, protect. This thing doesn't get... This thing doesn't get, um, what's it called? This thing doesn't get, uh, HP ice this gen. That's not going to KO me. Okay. This guy has, like, no answer for Landris, except his own Landris, which just now came out, which is a huge throw by him. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam now and just max Airstream into his Landris, because that will, uh, probably put it in range of a KO. This man had a Xerneas and lost. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, uh, keep in mind, that's likely not the next format. Okay, I'm still going to outspeed the Tapu Koko. And also, I'm at plus two, so Dazzling Gleam, U-turn. I mean, I am Focus Ash Whimsicott, so I'll always take this. That does so much. There's the Max Quake. All right, and now we win. Vicious Rend, Tailwind. GG. Let's go ahead and search for the next game. Yeah, uh, that, that one wasn't necessarily what VGC Series 7 is going to be, so keep that in mind. This is probably what we're going to see. <laughs> okay. GLHF. Oh, type that wrong. There we go. All right. So, uh, looks like... Tailwind Expanding Force. How do we do with Tailwind Expanding Force? I mean, I suppose I can just lead off with um... Oh, man, I don't have opposing terrain. <laughs> That's the one thing. I don't have terrain on this team. How do I deal with this? I guess I could lead off Tyranitar and bank off a weakness policy because I'm immune to Prankster. So Tyranitar is always a good lead here. Um... Landris as well has a decent lead, so I can U-turn out. In the back, I think I'm going to bring my Dracovish. 
and probably, I mean, Tabu Finny doesn't seem bad here. Telepathy is nice for the earthquake. Hmm. But circuitry could also put in a lot of work late game is the issue. And also my own tailwind seems really nice. Hmm. I'll go, I'll go Whimsic Hot. Okay, so it's pretty clear what they're going to go for here. They're just going to... I mean, I, I could assume they're just going to go for a, a fairy move. I don't think they would Expanding Force. I wish I had Protect on the Slanders. I could go Whimsicott and... Well, no, I don't want to sack Whimsicott now that I think about it. I'll go ahead and I'll Dynamax here. And I will go for the Max Rockfall into Lele to ensure it goes down. And I think... Hmm. What's the way I don't lose any Pokemon here? I think I have to... I think I have to let Landorus go down. So I'll also just go ahead and uh, try to U-turn on that... On that Lele, I suppose. Yep. He forgot. <laughs> he forgot about... Um, well, for one, I'm also Dark-type, so it wouldn't have KO'd me. Ooh, okay. Let me get in my own Whimsicott. We're gonna KO that thing. Brain fart. <laughs> I'm also dark type. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to max guard, get in Landorus, and I'm gonna cycle my Landorus in and out. Okay. Uh, here I can get in my Dracovish, and I can U-turn on, because he should always target Tyranitar, and Dracovish times 4 resists this, so I'll U-turn on the um, Whimsicott for damage. Yeah, alright. Oh, he was eject button, that's funny. That means I get Landorus in early. Phenomenal. Oh no, I don't. That's not how it works. Um, let me get in Landorus for Dracovish and protect. Because they should just Moonblast into the Dracovish here. Yeah, Fake Tears, Tailwind, Helping Hand. Their last move has to be like, you know, Moonblast. No, fake tears. Okay, uh, I can live with this, because... Man, my superpower is going to be doing a lot. But I have to be real careful with this. I'll superpower the Tyranitar, and I will also go for a um, Rock Slide, because it should KO Whimsicott. I don't believe he can pick up a double KO here, unless he has um, unless he has a fighting move on his Tyranitar. So if I can get rid of this Whimsicott, I'm actually not in a bad spot, because my Tailwind will go up, and then I can Revenge kill the Tyranitar. There's the taunt, that's fine. Okay. So interesting. Um, that's gonna KO, phenomenal. Ooh, this is gonna be a really close game. I mean, he's Sand Rush, so he's probably not Choice Scarf. What I'll do here is I'll actually U-turn on his Whimsicott and Tailwind up. Yep. Just barely misses out in the KO. Let me get in the Dracovish. Okay. And my Moonblast is going to be faster than his. So I just win by virtue of <laughs> of my Pokemon existing. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll click Psychic Fangs because it's stronger. And we'll Moonblast into the uh, Whimsicott here. Is he helping hands? Let's see if he's Jolly or Adamant. Looks like he's Adamant. Or Jolly, I mean, because he was faster. I mean, it depends on this turn, but I win regardless. GG. Okay. So far, uh, no losses with this team. I, I just really love the Zergatry mode. The Zergatry mode's so cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's just fun. Ooh, okay, Rain. Rain Shadow Legends. I don't see a way for him to self-proc his weakness policy unless he has like unless he just like goes for the side flare blitz and that i could i could see that coming on on lead so i think what i'll do here 
is I have to bring Tyranitar 100% of the time. We'll do Zergatry Whimsicott in the lead, uh, Tyranitar in the back, and our Dracovish. Because I, I don't want to lose to Terrain. That's going to be really annoying if I do. <laughs> and also the Tapu Koko could set up Electric Terrain for me, which would be really useful in the endgame. Guys, leave a like for Zergatry. He's been putting in work. Ooh, it seems I've received a spam email letting me know that my Apple ID has been locked. That's funny. I don't have one. <laughs> Ooh, this could be expanding force on uh, Metagross. So what I'll actually do here is... I'll get in Tyranitar and I'll Tailwind up. Because I should always survive unless he doubles into Whimsicott. Okay, we're immune. Good on to Sash. Stomping Tantrum. Okay, well, thank you for the weakness policy, sir. I appreciate it. And now... <laughs> it's Nene time. <laughs> So what I'll do here is I'll Ficious Rend into the Tapu Lele and I'll go for my Max Darkness into Metagross. Because with Tailwind and Sandrush, he has no switch-ins. Yeah, that was an interesting play, Stomping Tantrum there. Well, I guess it made sense, but I think Iron Head did more, so... That's really no big deal, we're still going to be outspeeding everything. That did so much. Uh, I don't think Metagross survives plus two max darkness. Yeah, no. And also I can set up my own sand again, so it's all good. It's all good. You could bring in uh, Kingdra here, I suppose. Tapu Lele. Okay, so he doesn't have the Kingdra, which means I think I just win. Because I rock fall into the Politoed to make sure he can't reset the rain, and I fish just ran the Tapu Lele, and I'm still faster than Lele. Okay, good game. Phenomenal. Phenomenal games. I'm going to get one more game for this video. Leave a like, guys. Leave a like. This is, this is this is the future here. Ooh, okay. Let me just uh, wrap this up real quick. Vicious Rend. Alright. P-Funky. Oh, that's a Rampardos, dude. Oh, Needle King's going to be so nasty in this format. I'm excited to see that. Um, I mean, I feel comfortable with Zergatry Whimsicott. I think I'll bring Dracovish Sand in the back for this game. Just because it has a decent matchup. Alright. Good game. Good game. I'm having a phenomenal time playing this format. It's such a fun little format, dude. I don't think there's a reason to be afraid of like having so many legendaries. Because like... Here's the thing. Here's a concept that a lot of new players struggle to understand. The Pokemon that are like powerful and define the metagame are the tools you should be using to let your favorite shine. Like for example, Zergatry is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. He's not even that good. He, like this, this was a struggle to make this team. Like I was surprised I'm getting the results I am. Zergatry isn't that good. If you look at its stats, it has a phenomenal special attack stat. But beyond that, it's slow. It has terrible, terrible bulk. And it just dies to everything. Like, this, this is just a nice team that allows it to do what it needs to, and that's because it's supported by strong options. Like, the telepathy on the Finny has been useless so far, to be honest, but it's going to come in handy eventually when I start clicking Discharge. So far, it's just been a Dazzling Gleam machine, so, yeah. Alright. So, Nidoking Blastoise. That's not necessarily a lead I want to stay in on, but I'm actually not scared of the Nidoking. Because I do have my balloon on me. You know I always got that thing on me. Alright, um, I can probably get a free plus one here. I'm going to tail glow up. I don't think the Blastoise is going to attack this turn. If he does, I would hazard to say he's big, he's big dumb. Because Needle King, like, he, if he goes for a ground move, it's I'm immune. He has to attack me with a regular attack here. He may even just double Whimsicott. Which I could live with. Zergatry isn't even my best Dynamax option in this game. It's, it's definitely Tyranitar.
I wonder if he scarf Nido King. That'd be scary. Blastoise is likely, you know, Gigantamax plus um Shell Smash. I'd be really careful with the with the focus sash if he's carrying it, but I, I would hazard to say they're probably wider on this team as they Dynamax the Nido King. And they self Aqua Jet. Ooh, are they gonna take out my Zergatry right now? I'm concerned. Ooh, he makes a grave mistake right there. A grave mistake, my friend. Because I still have my sand in the back, which means I revenge kill this thing every time. What I'll do here is I'll just discharge. I'll let my, my Zergatry go down. Um, or maybe I just Dazzling Gleam. I guess Dazzling Gleam gets me the most. I can Dazzling Gleam here. Um, and I will also go for a... I'll go for a Fake Tears into the Blastoise. Just to make sure it goes down. He gets revenge killed by everything in the back. Yeah, Dragos Tyranitar just steals the game now because I have Tailwind and Sand and he has no switch ins. I suppose I suppose the uh Tornadus could help out, but I'm still faster than everything. As long as my Tailwind maintains. As long as my Tailwind stays up. Let's see if he has a Tornadus. He does have a Tornadus. Um, but luckily I'm still faster. So what I'll do here is I'll just Vicious Rend and Dynamax and Max Rockfall. Because we have Sand Rush and the Tailwind. And he has to stall two turns of this, which is not likely. And even if Tornadus was uh, Focus Sash, he's going to go down to Sand Damage. So let's go ahead and just delete this Nidoking. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm going to love Dracovish in this next format. There's the Sash. And we still have the High Ground. Hey, good game. We went undefeated with this team so far. We went undefeated with this team, and it's it's been a fun time. I enjoy this team quite a bit. Um, it's it's fun. And guys, for the for your sake, I went Whimsicott over Tornadus. Also, Whimsicott is just better than Tornadus, in my opinion, right now, um, for this team. So yeah, uh, I try to not use too many legendaries. I mean, like, I don't really consider Zerkatree. A legendary because look at its stats oh my god 83 89 71 173 is good right but like how are you going to use it without tailwind so really like there are two legendaries in this team tapu finny landris tapu finny hardly did anything landris is useful one game so this is what i mean when i say like legendaries aren't busted sometimes your best option is your tyranitar your dracovish your whimsicott there's a lot of things you do in this format so if you guys enjoyed this session leave a like subscribe to the channel turn notifications do all of that it helps me immensely and the support's been phenomenal we've been growing like crazy let's try to shoot for 20k before the end of the year so yeah have a nice night i'll see you in the next one bye